New members, this is what we do, and usually we do this kind of after the, usually we do it when we're having our, our snacks. 650. 650. That's the wrong number. The last three numbers. <laughs> track after Irma. It's amazing how that one little storm has thrown everyone in a tailspin. How people are still twigs in their lawns or replacing food or getting their art hung back up where it belongs. It's, it's, it's been a rough month. So hopefully all, everyone's getting back to normal. I want to thank for all the interest in filling our board positions that we did last month as well as for committees. Many volunteered last month, but we still are in need of some volunteers. If you offer to help on a committee, please put your name down under that committee. We're going to have a piece of paper here because we want to make sure we have enough people and there were some people that were not here the last time. Um, so put your name down because we're making a committee list in our new spreadsheet. So we know who, when we're ready to have a meeting with that committee, we know who to call and notify. Uh, the committees will be in Art in the Park, indoor shows, hospitality, a greeter, and we're going to need some help working on our updating our website. Those are kind of the uh, the places that we need help. So there's a notepad here under where people signed up to do our evening event. Just we'll make out a sheet for people to sign in. And committee, thank you, thank you. I knew I'd forget something. We also had a discussion with. Members that are volunteering for a committee, it would be it would be advisable, it would be helpful if you guys also come to board meeting. It's because so much goes on in the board meeting, and afterwards we could always break apart into little committees and discuss so we don't have to... Let's work as a team to get us going where we need to be. So if you're on a committee and you can come to a board meeting, which will be the first Tuesday of every month at 9 o'clock at Dunedin Art Center. So... One hour. One hour. Well, an hour. It's supposed to be one hour. So we, when have we got out of there in an hour? Um, anyone that needed to do an announcement at the end of this meeting, I was asking everyone to write them down on a little notepad because the last time I know it was different the way we had the room set up. And not everyone could hear what the announcements were let alone Izzy being able to type them into the computer at the mm -hmm. same time. So we're writing them down now so that we have written information. So when she does the minutes and I do the brush fire, it's all there. We're trying to get us as, as efficient and working as a team as easily as possible. Uh, as I mentioned in our last meeting, your directories are finished and hopefully everyone picked up a directory. The cover on your directory is Kristen Santucci's wonderful picture. I really don't know what the name of that one is. Does anyone know the name of that picture that she did for Best to Show? What? Okay, thank you. I didn't think about it when I made out the directory. That's right. Yeah, I couldn't hear either. So you got to say it louder. Ain't misbehaving. Ain't, ain't misbehaving. We have decided that. At our spring luncheon, whoever gets the best of the show at our spring luncheon, their picture will be on the cover. I know that gives us the, the Christmas best of show, and we might decide to do one picture on the back and one picture on the front. And we'll just pick which one goes where. Um, we had no one wanting to go bring pictures in to show them 
to let us put them on here. So I felt this was the best way to do it. Um, if you don't want your picture on there, we won't put it and we'll use the other one. So this gives us two sides to work from. So I think that'll be really great. It's important that everybody, when you check in, make sure all, you have to check in to make sure all your information is correct. We're doing some new things with our spreadsheet. We just want to make sure all the if that if your, if your information is correct on that list, it will get into the directory correctly. Otherwise, we cannot guarantee it. If you've made a change and you didn't tell us, that's what's going to happen. Uh, your account, your directory also has a calendar in the back, in the back page. Um, we had an empty page, and I thought, what a great place to put a calendar because. Everyone calls me up or emails me. When is this show? When is the meeting? When is the luncheon? It's all in there. Of course, we do make changes and things do come up so that probably next month or in January, I will do an insert on cardstock with double face tape and everyone can stick it in there. And if we make major changes, that's how it, it's only be a revolving, changing little thing, but you'll always be in your catalog, in your directory. And if anyone wants, Full sheets to keep in a notebook. I will make those out also. Um, I forgot to bring those from the last from the last meeting. But if you get the information to us, we will get it up to date. The bylaws and the standing rule laws are in the new directory. I think we found something that we didn't have in there at the last board meeting. But right now, <laughs> we, we assumed it was correct when I wrote that. If anyone has an issue, has a thought about something that we need to change to do differently, please let a board member know so we can start keeping this list. It's very hard as the vice president has to do this, and they usually don't start till March and October, to put together all the standing rule changes and bylaw changes to try to put them together right then. So if we start early, start adding the things that we want to work on, it would be a big help when we get to the end of the year, when we need to pass all these things in a board by vote of the members. Uh, Donna, we're going to announce some new members you got today. You have a list of new no. people? <laughs> no, I do have one, and she's not really um, a totally new member. Tara Cita Hightower. And how long? How long have you not been a member? Maybe two years. Two years. Okay. Um, I'm going to announce the people that were the last time because we have a lot of members here this meeting that were not here the last time so I kind of kept the Davia Deplanche, De, De her name is Davia, Davia. Matt, Davia. thank Davia. you, Matt Dewar, Dewar. I'm going to have you introduce yourself because you were not here the last time. You get to tell, introduce you, tell, tell them what you do. What I do? Yeah, what you do in art. <laughs> um, well, I, I just, I'm just kind of starting out. Um, I moved to Dunedin about or Clearwater uh, about two years ago, and I do acrylic on canvas. Um, I like using a knife. I like doing landscapes, water. Um, Congratulations! Right. Be a member. Thank you. Anyone else? That's what? David Brown. David Brown. I like to do a fairly large. Oil still life, sometimes have traction. Okay, and how, have you been in clear? Have you been in the area for a long time, or are you new? Well, about two years. Okay. I live about an hour up on 52. Okay. Oh, um, James Camel, did he come? He's a potter, I guess not. Kathy Lurch had rejoined. I had her down on the list. Marjean Moses, John O'Hare, Janice. S O M A C H. We have a wrong email address. We don't have the right emails for just for her. And Wendy, Carol, how do we say Wendy's last name? Oh, she's out there. But this is my niece, and her name is Z E H E Z K E L Y. Mm -hmm. And she is in Boca. She's joining us. She's doing fiber with jewelry with fibers and a wire and seashells. It's really neat stuff. So, anyone? Since we didn't keep a list of who was the new members, does anyone here that joined today? That we didn't. Okay. You, okay. Then, since the people we don't know you, give us, tell us what you do. Well, I used to be a member, like I said, two years ago. 
Uh, my name is Teresita Hightower. I know Teresita doesn't go with Hightower. <laughs> That's my husband's name. Uh, I used to paint on canvas uh, oils. I'm now painting on canvas paper. It's something new and I'm liking it very much. Uh, I like to paint just about anything. I love to paint. <laughs> it's, a, I know a it's a others. disease. <laughs> I know there's a couple of other members that are new. You will get no. You will get announced at the last meeting when we get the list with the new members. Um, Creative Artists Guild is going to try something. We've started taking a list and we started announcing it as people are coming in. It's called the Creative Artists Guild's Artist Evening Get Together. Come join us to paint, draw, create jewelry, or whatever is your medium. The third Tuesday, 5:30 to 8. Arrive and join a table of your choice with members doing working on your media, or try something new. Uh, get inspired by what another artist does. Um, we'll paint or work, create for an hour, then have a, sh a a quick meeting, not a long meeting like this. It is that that's to allow the members that cannot at work, go to school, take care of grandkids, whatever that can't come during the day, that they will be able to come in and hear what's happening, stay engaged with the group. They can get their paperwork, they can sign up for events, they can they can become, again, part of the club. We have a hunt, it's gonna be in the back room where there's no carpeting, and, and it's gonna be here. We have 140 members, and we basically have the same 65 people that come to every meeting, so that means there are 75, 80 people that never come to meetings. Let's try to get them engaged to be part of our group. Let, let's inspire them and be inspired by them. Uh, so have a meeting, then we're going to go back and create, and if we feel like having a show-and-tell critique, we can afterwards. We'll play with that as it goes. It's going to be here, and you have to be a paid member to come. You can't bring somebody that's not a member. We're going to be accepting donations to cover the cost of renting that room and for coffee or water, for serving coffee and water there, so there'll be a small thing that we can donate money for. Uh, we're taking a list because we want to make sure this is feasible. If I only have 10 people that want to do it, well then this, this, this isn't going to work. It, it, it isn't feasible. But we've got a pretty good, how many, how many have I? 19, right? 19 out of 60 people that are here, so that's a third. So if we have a time again. Yeah, it'll be between 5.30 and 8. And I, and I we originally going to go 6 to 8.30. But I think now that once it gets dark so early, we want to start that little bit early. The people, the people that can come at 6.30 for the meeting still if they're only coming for a meeting. What were you saying, hon? What were they charges for the church? We, have to, we, don't, we don't get charged. We donate money to the church. Um, we've already got the deal set up for what we're going to pay for our indoor shows. Um, I hope we pay $50 per this room. So we've got to come. We'll talk about it at the board meeting and come up with a, a game plan. Uh, and you'll send out the information. What? You'll send out the information when yes, it starts. Yes, and also, there's little sheets here. Okay. Did someone have their hand up? Yeah, will you yes. be able to reach the people that aren't here today? Yes, it'll go out in the newsletter. The newsletter is? The newsletter or brush fire. Okay, I tried getting that online and I couldn't No, you, get you're it. not getting I send it to you. It gets sent specifically to you. But you were not on the mailing list yet, so okay. that you weren't. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's also on the Facebook page. And it will be on the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And if someone does not want it to come emailed and they want a paper copy, you have to let me know so I can make copies and send them. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and, and I don't know that everybody is opening that brush fire, so we might want to send out a, just a quick email after this meeting to let them know. Well, we are also going to be doing, setting up a system called Constant Contact. This is a email server, is that what you would provide, call yeah. them, Stoney? They will be sending out automatically our reminders of our meetings, of our shows, of everything to remind you guys, happy birthdays. We can open it up and see who never opens their mail. Um, I'm also, Izzy is going to, yeah, we have people that don't open them up. Izzy is going to be my co-editor for the brush fire. We're going to do some things. I'm hoping we don't have to attach it. We can just copy and paste it so people don't have to go push that attachment because that's where they're having problems. Yeah. Yes. Um, also, it's going to, so all, going forward, hopefully within the next month, 
all the information from us will come from one email address. So, you know, um, I know right now you it's may get emails from Pam or from me, and it, you might not recognize an email address. And people overlook it or it goes in a spam or junk mail folder. So once everything will start being consistent and you'll you'll be able to say, oh look, it's it's creative artist skill. I, maybe I'll open it up and look at it. So it'll it'll be easier to find in your emails. So that's all. Um, art in the park. We've signed up as you I did some of this is what I repeated. I'm repeating some things that I did last meeting. We've signed up for the second Sunday of the month, October through April. But because November is their wine and jazz night, we had to jump, we had to push it back up to November 5th. This is the first Sunday instead. We, we also learned there's a perk for this benefit of changing it. The <coughs> pipe organ group, did you talk to someone Stony about this, did you say? I did. They are going to be performing on the stage. That means there are going to be a lot of visitors listening, because we've done this before with them once in, in a march, and people come, hundreds of people come. So as Art in the Park vendors, we have to leave some spaces for people to walk through to the grass so that they can go sit on the grass and listen to the band. So this will be a big Dunedin event, so we're really lucky to get attached to that. Yeah, it's, it's the city of Dunedin's bagpipe band, and they will be on stage at 1.30, and they are aware that we are going to be there too. So. Um, but yeah, so anybody that comes to Art in the Park, we're going to have to maybe, uh, instead of being closer to the stage, everybody move a little. And you know that's also the weekend of Art Harvest. Right. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say that. That's actually a good thing because people from Art Harvest come downtown afterwards and eat and wander around. And we have we have purchased four e um, uh, easel. Easel. What do you call it? Sound like sandwich boards. The Stony is going to be painting, and we're going to have announcements our events when you first drive down. When you split off from 580, from 580, right? Isn't it? We've got a couple places we're going to put them. So we'll have signs all over the place that we have something happening, so we can pull people in. But if you are not showing as an, an, a, a vendor, come anyway and listen to the band and come visit with us as we're sitting out there, hopefully not sweating. <laughs> um, the cost for any show for Art in the Park is $25. It was $150 for the whole season. I know we had a lot of vendor, a lot of takes on this. That means you got one for free. Uh, there was a new vendor contract, so if you want to do it, you have to sign a contract this time with a violations and rules list. If you're interested, please read over the contracts and put your name with, and sign up with Stoney. For the members that were here last month, you already know about our plans for our indoor shows in Friendship Hall. These are already in your schedules in the back of your directories. It's already in there. It says indoor shows. We are doing the very first one, those little cards that I gave everybody, will be December the 8th. It is going to be a second Friday. Dunedin used to call it the Art Walk. I could not find anything online this year. Um, they called it, for now, they were calling it the second Friday Dunedin downtown. Margaret, do you want to be? I don't know the new name. Yeah, so I just put Second Friday Dunedin That's event. Um, we are possibly be joining the Dunedin Merchants Association, Merchants Association, so we can get listed in these new events, in especially that one into Dunedin's event page. Um, we already actually were on the Art in the Park the last one. We didn't know we were there. We need to. Um, let people know we're going to really have to do some mass advertising because this is something new for us. We are going to be inside here. It will be in this room. We have to do, there is, we still have to work out the details. Um, and we, we're going to get together a lot this month before starting takes a vacation so we can start signing up people for that because we have a lot of artists who really do not want to go outside and do not, or don't have, just don't want to go outside. Their artwork cannot be something they can go outside and, and take a chance of getting wrecked. When is that going to be for the That was for the December, probably at the November show, or November meeting. Okay, yeah. I kept, I kept thinking the one was December and one is November. We're fine. So we'll probably be signing up for that. We'll have all the rules. Um, so then, and then, the, then we'll have three shows on Saturday 
two of them will be when Howard Allen is across the street at Pioneer Park. He will not. He require. He requested that we are not to show when he's out there because they. <laughs> um, but the contract we already had with Dunedin meant one of the shows he has to do with us. That's the February. So we decided we're going to be in here on the Saturday that he's here. <laughs> at least those two. We have an open street. We have a parking lot. They don't. Um, again, we're going to put up signs. We're going to do mess. We are for those particular shows. We're going to be probably doing some paid ads because we have to get this rolling. We're going to have to put out a little out of proposed budget to cover all this stuff because this is new. We've been doing art in the park now for years, so everyone knows about it. But this is new, so we'll do the April. I think we're going to go ahead and do the indoor second Friday. If we see we liked it in December, we'll do that as our last show. It'll be in December. I mean in April. So anyone that's interested, start thinking about it. We probably, we have seen by what the craft club from the church, they say they fit 17 vendors in this room. But I think they're doing other things. If we need to, and we have more than 17 vendors, and that's all we can fit, we can go back in the other rooms. We can have this whole, this whole thing if we need to. If we have 40 people that want to show, we'll fit 40 people in here, right, Sonny? Yep. <laughs> um, the, 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 that is going to be a $25 fee for that, and there will be no discounting by buying for the whole season. Pam, um, I had an idea, too, you could talk about uh, maybe have one or two people that if they have a tent or want a tent set up right outside to draw people over, to help draw people over. We have an outdoor spot. Especially in the daytime. I don't feel like doing it at night in the daytime, yeah. Right. So okay. that, that's a possibility. Okay. Write that down to remind me. Okay, and she's writing me in minutes. I love it. Um, okay, here's something else that came up. Mikkel Harrell emailed me the other day, texted me, and she asked me if we had ever requested from Dunedin to get some kind of deal for parking as vendors when we do art in the park. And at the time, I couldn't remember if we did. I do remember in my back of my head that it was said that we can't. I don't remember who contacted them or when it was done, but we could not get a deal as contra as vendors to get reduced fees for parking. But the deal is, is that Dunedin, it'll be a year in November that they did this proposed pilot parking plan. They are having a meeting. Mm -hmm. It's called a public workshop on November 9th at the library. 6 to 9 to discuss the pilot program and looking for input. As we as vendors in the park have major concerns, we have to pay while we're there and our customers are needing to pay and just figuring out how to use our stupid kiosks, people are leaving. They, they, they just can't do it. If they don't have a credit, it just, it's, it's impossible. Or they don't come down because they don't want to pay for parking. So I was requesting anyone, especially any members that do art in the park, if we could show up as a team. Mikkel is going to do a two-minute discussion. She's got it all planned. But if we come to back her up and to say and to give our two cents worth, I think this could be a real big help because then Eden's going to be a problem. Their their businesses are going to lose money because of this. There's a survey if you go to Dunedin.com. There, there's a parking survey. There's a parking survey. So you can say if you like it, if you don't like it, why you don't like it. Do you have to be well, a resident? No. No. I don't think no. It's a horrible okay. survey. So it is poorly worded. It's the it's one of the person who was talking about it this weekend or last week, and she said, as a merchant, they're supposed to have their own survey. She never even got sent a survey. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There, it's, uh, it's on Facebook, they're sending it all over the place, but it's it's really skewed towards yes, parking. It is. Huh. is there any way that we can get just the local people can make some kind of... Just we show up at the, li we, we show up at the library and put our two cents worth it. Okay. That's what it's about. December the 9th. Sharon Joe about it. November. November. Six to nine. You said November. You said November. November 9th. <coughs> okay. You just said okay. December. Six to nine. <laughs> Six to nine. In the library. And we'll put a big blurb in our announcement in our brush fire about this. A warning. Go. Do. Um, we need Dunedin to stay feasible 
as a marketplace, not just for Art in the Park. But this, this is a wonderful little art center that we need to keep it rolling. We need, we need to make sure that I need is there to prosper. While you're talking about parking, yes, the church parking lot is free during the week, but not on Sundays. Okay, the, yes, because they have a meeting here. The Tuesday, second Tuesday that we have our meeting, mm -hmm. there should be a sign out there because when I came in this morning, there was hardly any parking because other people. And when the snowbirds get down here, it's I will talk be to Bill Reed at the church because if we can have a yeah. sign that say "Artist Cag Meeting, yeah. Parking Only." We are well, yes, and I was going to get us a yard, a garden sign. I thought about that because we have new members that don't know that we're in here when they come. Yeah. And when we do our indoor shows, I put on a little card that it's free parking. We're going to have to have one of our members, sons, husbands, brothers, kids, out there asking people if they're coming to park for the event here or if they're just parking and they are going to be told that they can only come in here if they're coming inside. Yes, yeah, sure. We told somebody today they were parking when we were, that it was just for the tag group today okay. or somebody belongs to the church. And so they left. Okay. But the man who works in here to set this all up, mm -hmm. he was telling us at the park on Sunday that he does have signs that he puts out there, but people have been stealing them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and that's why we don't have a sign out there right now. Okay. Because they did have it there. Well, here's a thought. I will see if we can have a sign made up ourselves, and we keep it with us, and we put it out here when we come at 11 o'clock. Okay? There's a lot of parking back here. Yeah. People don't realize you can drive through the small parking lot on the well, side. That, and our back. vendors, when we do the inside shows, I want our vendors to park back there because then they can pull their stuff in the back doors here. It's going to be easier. This one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. there was no parking back there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, next, I've got to get back and track Rosette. Christmas luncheon. This year we're getting started, thanks to Sharon, really early. I know we did the last spring one. We got a little bit late start on it. And some people had already made plans or they were going back up north. The snowbirds were leaving. This should be a much bigger <coughs> event because most everyone is here. Um, it's going to be at the same country club, Countryside Country Club. We are doing a sit-down dinner. Instead, my printer was out of green ink, so it's blue. Um, it's going to be a Caesar salad, chicken with artichokes and cream sauce, braised short ribs, roasted potatoes, <laughs> grilled vegetables, rolls, butter, coffee, iced tea, water. We'll have a cash bar if anyone wants to buy any wine. Dessert is still being created, probably going to be created on Thursday. We need all choices and names and payments done by December 1st. When is it? December the 12th. It's our normal Tuesday meeting. We don't have the times if we're starting at 12 or 1 yet. We don't have that scheduled yet. And it's, it's a choice of one or the other. Yes, it's a choice <coughs> of one or the other. Thank you. And we'll have a valet parking like the guy, valet parking like we did in, in the spring. That worked out really well for artists who are bringing works in to be judged because that's a huge parking lot. They can just pull up. You don't need to tip them. Just get out, take the pictures in, and they will park your car for you. I know it was a little difficult getting out because everyone finished lunch at the same time and was out there waiting for their cars, but I think it, I think it worked out fine. And, and there is a vegetarian option. If somebody's a vegetarian, they will accommodate that. We just have to let them know ahead of time. Okay, so let's see. Now, go back and where is it? Um, Stoney has been working on our Art in the Park events on Facebook and happening pages. Uh, she puts all the announcements. If you have anything you need to put on there, let her know. Stoney, how many pages do we have on Facebook? We have one for the group, which is uh, private for the group, and then we have an Art in the Park page, which is public for anybody. This is where we want to tell them about the Instagram. Yes. Okay, um, on the Facebook page. Come, on, come here. <coughs> Stand here. On the Facebook page, you will find pinned at the top a, a section that says, post your artwork for Instagram here. I've created an Instagram account for us, and every day, during weekdays anyway, I post different, different things. I've been posting uh, photos of people's work, crediting them with, you know, this is this person's putting a lot of tags on it, trying to generate some interest in <clears throat> not only your work, but the Creative Artists Guild. We are getting at least 25 followers a day. Wow. 
we are getting a lot of action. When you post your photos on that pin, it's, it's just a page, you just upload your picture, it's very easy. There's one thing that I, I really need to impress strongly on you. Because um, theft of artwork online is so prevalent, you must take photos of your pictures in one of two ways. One, you can do like a sideways view where you get it so that it's not full face on, so it's harder to, for them to copy. The other option <clears throat> is to do it at a lower resolution so that they can't air, they can't fix it up to make to steal it. So these are the two things that I've been I've been posting things that were either hard to copy um, or um, harder to execute, we'll say. I advertise, I advertise for Art in the Parks. Our shows will be advertised down there. Um, like I said, we're getting a lot of attention. So please, post your artwork on that page because that's what I do. Every day, I go on the Facebook page, I take whoever's next in line, and I post their artwork on. And I think Stoney said we've got somebody maybe interested in one of the pieces already. That's great news. And watermarks mm -hmm. don't work because they can be digitally removed. Oh, so be careful. But the idea of watermarks. doing it at an angle or putting something else, like a vase or something, you know, something that yeah. would make it difficult. For yeah, them to or or making that resolution kind of low because it, it, they won't use it if it's a low resolution. So what? What, what is low re resolution? Low resolution means doing it um, less pixels. Less, less pixels. It's a little. So less than 350. Would you think? Yes, and I I would also. Um, I purposely fuzzy some of my stuff when I use the, the photo editing tools. I make it fuzzy, a little fuzzier so that they don't steal it. So I do like a, a fade out. Okay. Okay. Susan, you said it's uh, the Instagram is on here? It, it's, we have an Instagram account now. Okay, so you go on to Instagram. Go on to Instagram, okay. look up Creative Artists Guild, okay. and you will find our work and our on stuff. There's a Facebook page telling you about it. Yeah. But there's not a link to it. There's not a no, link. I'll that's put a, I'll that's put a what, link what I was there. looking for. Okay, okay. no link. Okay. Our chair of our jury committee had to come back early from Wisconsin for health reasons. She'd had a mini stroke up in Wisconsin, and her family insisted she get back to Florida as soon as possible. Her friends and neighbors came to her side and helped her winterize and pack and get back to Florida as fast as she could. She had surgery Thursday to unclog her arteries. Um, and she was told by a visiting nurse yesterday that she was not allowed to come here today. Um, she was very upset. She wanted to get out of the house and come visit with us, but she had to stay home. She'll be sending letters to any of the members they got juried in last month and this month. Um, is Viv in here? Is Viv here? She has to go. She was. Okay, so Robbie, you've got. We, I want to announce. Um, Robbie is going to be helping with the jury. She's going to be a kind of a co-chair, especially since we don't have Judy here. 